Here is a beautiful lush Tulsi plant, otherwise known as holy basil. It is the same basic plant as Italian basil, only with a different flavor profile and um, a different origin. So I'm going to cut this plant back pretty hard because that is what actually it will help it grow the best. And like I showed in the video before when I first planted the basil, um, really to cut back to those young leaves. So we're going to look in here and you can see that scar. I actually already cut that back all the way down there once. And look at all this beautiful growth that came up. So we are going to cut back to that same spot. I'm going to cut these off and I want to allow for those young small leaves down here to take over and grow. Once you get the bulk of it cut out, you want to go back and make sure that you aren't leaving any long stragglers because you want the new growth to come back down here. So for this one, this one, and this one, I'm going to pinch those out down to where the new growth is. that plant that looked like that plant a few minutes ago will look like this one again in a couple weeks. Hi! Now that we've harvested our holy basil, I would like to share with you some ways to use it and why one might want to use it. So holy basil, otherwise known as Tulsi, is the same genus as Italian basil, Osimum. So in India, holy basil or Tulsi is used often in Ayurvedic medicine. And the term used in Western herbalism for the number one action of holy basil is um, that it is an adaptogen. And what an adaptogen does, the way that I like to explain it, it helps you adapt to your stressors. Whatever those stressors are, whether it's physical, chemical, biological, emotional, whatever is stressing you out, Tulsi will help reduce that stress and help you um, become to peace with it. Along with that, there are a couple um, precautions that I think are important to note um, can help move medications through our bodies along with toxins that we don't want. So if you are on any kind of um, pharmaceuticals, definitely consult a um, herbal practitioner or your um, primary care doctor before consuming any Tulsi. So that said, um, three ways that I like to use Tulsi, holy basil, um, all involve liquids. Um, so one of my very favorite ways is to make a sun tea. So I've already put some in this jar here and I like to do about a quarter to half full with fresh herbs. Just gonna pour some water in there. You could also pour boiling water over it and have a hot tea or let it cool and become an iced tea. And just put a little um, thing on top to keep any insects from flying in, any dust or pollen from getting in there. Um, and to let, this is just tap water, so I'm going to let any um, chlorine or whatever else evaporate out of there. And then I will set this in the sun. And um, I want to let it sit in the sun from anywhere to two to eight hours to steep the flavor. So we'll just set over here in the sun. Um, the next way is to make um, a alcohol infusion. With the alcohol infusion, you can use it one of two ways. You can use it for cocktail or you can use it as a tincture. And a tincture is where you have the little bottles with the dropper and put a couple drops in water um, and use it medicinally. And so I have this here that's just fresh picked. Um, I like to let it wilt in the sun a little bit, um, especially for the next preparation. Um, and then now the more surface area that I can create for um, any kind of herbal infusion is to break it apart. And this just breaks apart so nicely with your fingers. You could also cut it up with scissors. Um, some herbalists I know um, just kind of put it in whole, put whatever menstruum, that's whatever liquid you're using to 
do the extraction. Um, they put the herb in, put their menstruum in, put it all in the blender back into the jar. That way you really get a lot of surface area. Um, besides being an adaptogen, it also is carminative and that means it aids in digestion, especially helping to expel gas. Um, it is also anti-spasmodic, um, so it helps relieve muscle spasms. Um, and it's really warming and opening. So this is a great, um, it's great to drink on a hot day because it helps your pores open. It helps get, move everything along. It's also really great in the winter to up um, circulation to get blood flow to those cold extremities. Great. I have it in there. It's about a quarter full with fresh packed herbs. And I'm just going to fill it up with um, vodka. I use different alcohols for different um, herbal extractions depending on what I'm going to want to do with it. I'm thinking that this will be delicious um, with uh, mixed with lemonade on a hot day. So it's pretty close to the top. Put my lid on. And you always want to label anything that's going to sit around for a little bit. There's that. And then last but not least, I already did made this one. And this is Tulsi in organic extra virgin olive oil. I will use this in making um, salves and lotions and use it topically. And that really helps um, to be warming and um, anti-spasmodic. So for um, muscle cramps or cold fingers, it will be so lovely. Um, and then I really like it as a carminative too, um, using it um, in culinary fashion um, to help aid that digestion. So Tulsi is um, a great adaptogen. It's carminative, it's anti-spasmodic, it is warming, um, it helps remove toxins from the body, and it can be a little bit, um, it can lower blood sugar levels. So if you're prone to low blood sugar, you wanna be mindful about that. Um, and it acts as a little bit of a blood thinner in that circulatory motion. So um, a couple things, other things to be mindful of. And that is Tulsi.